Welcome back. This is part two of a three-part series on how to make a fairly simple, uh, rustic, beachy sort of kitchen table without any complicated joinery. Now I've been talking about it in video one about using a biscuit joiner. So what is a biscuit joiner? Tell us, would you? No worries. This is it. It's a biscuit joiner. It cost me about 80 bucks. It's a pretty basic one. And what it is, is it's a machine that once you push this face up against some timber, see the blade comes out? The blade comes out and makes a slot. And in that slot goes the biscuit. This is what holds your joint together. You cover that in glue, you fill your slot with glue, and this expands, tightens up, and has your join. It's really easy. And with your biscuit joiner, you'll see this slot. You line that slot up with those marks that I put around the edge of that table. So when you drive this into the edge of that timber, the blade will come out, make the slot, put these biscuits in it, bit of glue, Bob's your uncle. Let's stop the chatter and get this baby going. Come on. Here's our first line that I marked earlier on. So just get the, the slot or the groove on your biscuit joiner to line up with that and put this surface here flat on this surface and just plunge the biscuit joiner in just like this. So line the groove up to the flat mark. Plunge all the way in. See, that's our groove, which our biscuit will fit into. Pretty good, eh? Okay, I've gone around now and I've done all the, uh, the biscuit holes with my biscuit cutter. Also into the rails as well. Now the next process is just to simply fill these holes with glue. This is just um, PVA woodworking glue. So fill all the holes up with glue. Plenty of it. Don't be stingy. So put some in need here as well. Let's just get a heap in there. Like that. And then we place our biscuits into the holes, like this, all the way in, like that. And now it's simply a matter of getting your rail and matching the slots with your biscuits, like that. all up. Bingo. And there you have it. And just repeat this process right the way around your job. Okay, we'll come back when we're doing some clamping. Okay. Well, there she is now. <coughs> Biscuit joins her in. She's all glued up, clamped up. Now just waiting for her to dry. All the legs are being squared up so they're nice and square. All clamped. We'll have a crack at it tomorrow and uh, start sanding and um, putting on some um, some paint and some and some polish. So looking forward to that. So that'll be uh, video three of the three-part series. Hope you can be there. Catch up.